In this class, we are going to learn how to import any integration into Oracle Integration 3 instance with the help of REST API by Oracle. In our previous class, we had seen how to export an integration from Oracle Integration 3 instance with the help of REST APIs. If you have not watched that class, please check out the class. Now, in order to straight away go to hands on and see how to import an integration with the help of REST API, we have to look for the documentation page by Oracle. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is REST APIs for Oracle Integration 3. From the table of content under task, we have to go to integration and then we have to go to import add an integration. There are a couple of integration APIs over here, add and replace. We will check out both the things. But first we will see import add an integration. So here there is a description provided by Oracle for this REST API. HTTP method is post and here is the relative URI. You can have a look at this documentation. So one thing what you have to make sure is the request here is the multi-part form data file is a key name and the value will be our .ir file which we had exported in our previous class. That is this one .ir file. I have created a postman project over here and under the body I have selected from data file is our key name and the value I will select the .ir file. Click on this. Here is my .ir file I will select this and click on open. So this is done. Next is forming the URL. Here when you form the URL what you have to do is you have to provide your region OCP URL over here for your integration next is the relative URI that is relative URI is nothing but what it is shown over here up to archive. So after region OCP we have to provide the URI and then the integration instance name. So in detail we had studied how to form the URL in our previous class please check out the class how to create the URL as well as the authorization token. First, in order to access this API, we have to generate the access token. Let me just generate the access token that is using this API. If you want to know how to make use of this API, again we have covered in detail about authorization and using this APIs or framing this URL in detail in our earlier class. Click on this send. So we will get the access token which is short lived that is 3600 seconds it will live until then we can make use of this access token. So I will provide over here. I am making use of bearer token option over here. Click on send. So we are getting the message saying this integration already exists and therefore cannot be imported. So let me just deactivate this integration. So you cannot import any integration which is already active. You have to first of all deactivate. I will delete this from here because we are making use of add an integration API over here. If it was import or replace an integration it will override but using this add an integration it will not override. So this is cleared. Now let me just hit this again. Click on send. We are getting 204. Let me just refresh and see. Here if you see our integration has imported successfully. So like this we can import an integration with the help of REST API. Now suppose if you are replacing an integration already existing. So for that we have to make use of this API that is import replace an integration. Everything is same apart from this HTTP method. Here it is put for add it was post. Let me just try out this. Go to authorization populate the access token whatever we have got recently. And in the body and all it's same. Let me just overwrite this again. The file. Select the IER file. And the URL everything is same like we had seen for add. Click on send. Before clicking on send let me just see the timestamp. It is 8 19 am. So when we send this again or run this API we should see difference in the timestamp. Let me just refresh. Just observe it is 8 19 It is changed to 8 20 44. So like this we have to overwrite an already non-activated integrations with the help of REST API that is with the help of this import replace an integration REST API. In our next class we will see how to activate an integration with the help of REST API. Also we will see how to configure the connection that is status must be changed to configured before we activate any integration. When we import any integration URL and the credentials won't be reflected. So we will see in the next class.